This is part three of what I would do if I was to cut the cord in 2022. In part one, we went over uh, choosing the best internet service provider. Part two, we went over picking the best wireless router and how to place it in your home. Part three, I'm gonna talk about streaming devices. Now, a lot of people tell me all the time, I have a smart TV, I don't need a streaming device. Well, the truth is, smart TVs, they're all dumb. And the reason they're all dumb is because after a couple of years, all these companies, and I don't care if it's a high-end TV or a low-end TV, all these companies stop supporting them. Sometimes the lower-end uh, TVs uh, become unsupported a lot faster. Either way, it's inevitable. It happens. So the best thing to do is actually pick a standalone streaming device. It will provide you with the best user experience. And one thing I've figured out is if you skimp on one of these steps, you're going to be missing cable. I'm not going to cover every streaming device. I'm just going to cover the main ones that work reasonably well in my experience. So here we go. Roku is arguably the best known media player. However, over the years, I believe that they have fallen from grace. If you already have been using it for years and you really like the layout and platform, I encourage you to keep doing so. However, certain apps are no longer available on Roku. Uh, which means it's not supporting as much as some of the other streaming players. And the price on all of these is about the same. I just feel like for the same amount of money, you can do much better. Fire TV or the Fire Stick is one of my favorites. Um, it's easy to use. It's highly supported. It's cheap enough. Uh, it works well. It processes fast. All around, I think this is an excellent choice. I would recommend just getting the 4K no matter which TV you have. It processes a little bit faster. Just uh, like I mentioned before, I'm all about the user experience. So just just spring for the 4K. You'll be glad you did. Chromecast lately has been a real shock to me. In the past, I definitely would not have recommended them. But this last year or so, they've really come a long way uh, with the introduction of the new Chromecast with the remote and 4K. Uh, it actually really is a great device now. Uh, it has the best voice control recognition so like when you speak into it it uh, hears you and it knows what you're saying if that feature is really important to you i would recommend you getting a chromecast otherwise i rate fire stick and chromecast about the same i have a lot of customers that are deep 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 into the apple ecosystem and i agree that it's a fine player uh, however you could get three of the other devices i just talked about almost for the price of one of these. So if you are one of those people that are so deep in the Apple ecosystem and you wanna cut the cord and you don't mind shelling out the cash for the Apple TV, this is another fine choice. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please hit that like button. If you absolutely hated it, please also hit that like button. I really am just trying to reach and help as many people as I can, either in person, online, virtually, through my videos. Our whole internet and communications infrastructure is a house of cards, and my mission is to change that. By the time my career is over, I no longer want to be able to say most connected second and third world countries have better internet than we do. I believe that's going to come from education. So thank you. Like and subscribe. Have a great day. Stay safe.